life this weekend? Tina McCoo is live in McClellan where the painting is already underway. Is it a mural of you, Tina? You know how I like animals. Yes. yes. Right. No, no mural of me. You know how I like animals. So in the past, when I found a bird mm -hmm. and another bird and then another bird, I brought them here at the Wildlife Care Association. Then I had all these birds at home and I had all these bird cages, so I donated the bird cages to this place, Wildlife Care Association oh, wow. out here on the backside of McClellan. Rick Reed has been doing a lot of work with them, but this is the house of many animals that have been lost or on the roads. We had 6,000 residents bring us 140 different species last year. This year, because of habitat being flooded for so long and the brutal heat this summer, we had up to 100 birds coming in a day. So much greater numbers coming in this year. This is the dome home of the heroes of nature. They've been doing this for more than 40 years. They're nonprofit volunteers, and we'd love to have you come down. If you want to come save some lives, yeah. this would be the place what to do it. What was this building before when it was McClellan it, it, Air Force Base? It was scanning for enemy bombers. It was the radar dome for McClellan Air Force Base. But it's now a, getting a facelift. We are putting uh, some rehab on it and taking off some Air Force. Okay, so we got Lindsay Yanni and uh, Art Institute. Artist here, this is what it's going to look like. Come over here. This is the end result. This is what they're going for right over here. And some other drawings of animals, right? Correct. Okay, so who do we have over here? Well, these are our wonderful volunteers. Um, Rick got a hold of them. So they're, they're awesome to come out. And they're doing all my prep work for me, paying yeah. their dues. It's awesome. <laughs> and then how long do you think it's going to take you to paint this whole mural? Well, I designed it in mind that I may be the only artist out here painting. So oh. hopefully I get it, I can get it done in four hours tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and do the gradient backdrop today, hopefully, okay. and hopefully maybe the uh, silhouette of the hills. But I'm hoping to be done by one tomorrow. You're going all the way up that high? Uh, I'm going to fade into the blue that's already existing. Okay. So, yeah, we're going up that high. All right. Looks yeah. good. So we can't wait to see when it's all completed, when it's all done here. And that's the entryway. That's the where the newspaper is. That's where the main door is. So if you, you know, have an, an animal that you find or a little bird, Thanks that's so where you'd come out here to during open hours and drop off the little the little birdie here. So that's great work here. I love that. Yeah. So this is going to look like, again, here at Wildlife Care. Um, association to do wonderful work and you always can donate to them they always need uh, things like blankets for the babies there's like baby squirrel baby squirrel like this small I saw in a little shoe box one time ago oh it needs more blankets so anything that you can think of volunteer they have a big long list of things that you can do for them thank you so much for that and good luck four hours tomorrow thank goodness it's not hot out here all right guys back over to you thanks Tina well people are coming together this morning